Okay, so right now what I've got is my 562 XP Mark II that I have ported up and I just got the timing pretty well dialed in. Let me see. Now what we're gonna do, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we're gonna do a cut and then we're gonna swap out from the winter filter that it is wearing, which is your high flow filter, right? And then we're gonna swap on the summer filter, which is lower flow, and see if it makes a difference in timed cuts. All right, so we'll do a tune after the first cut, and uh, so that, that, that way we can tune it into that different filter. But let's see what we got. Let me make sure the camera's set up right. High flow filter is coming off. Not so high flow filter going on. We'll see if this makes a difference. I'll go around to the other side. It'll just make it easier to edit. It'll have to tune back in.
ultimately both of them dropped into the 13,200 range uh, but with the high flow filter on there it stayed in the 13.4 range much longer all right so realistically does it make enough of a difference for you to do it because of power no but if you're going in a race that's 200 rpms more that you're probably going to have <laughs> so yeah i would say that the high flow winter filter is worth it and now that i have straightened out the timing on this guy it runs just as good possibly better than the mark one that my buddy built and he's been building for years now these five series saws he kind of sort of specializes in them he's figured them out on a level that honestly just bluntly most people will never be able to do uh, because a lot of people get stuck in their own minds and go oh, i want to do this or 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 you lose torque if this happens or you name it any number of things but <clears throat> whenever he's building a saw he doesn't give a shit if you can't put a stock piston back in <clears throat> A lot of builders don't want to do modifications to the piston because they want their customer to be able to put a stock piston back in down the line <coughs> if they burn the saw up, right? And so that's what they use as the argument, and it's a good argument. I'm not, I'm not against it. That's what they use as the argument <coughs> for... Um, for not doing piston modifications because they want their customer, if they need to, to be able to open it back up and put a replacement piston in, no doubts. He doesn't care so much about that and I gotta say, neither do I. I'm building a custom saw here and I want it to run as good as it can possibly run. And if it burns up, you're gonna have to make a piston or have me or someone capable like I am of modifying the piston to get everything to work in the stock saw. But now, if you're not about that game, I get it, no, whatever. Me, I'm wanting to squeeze every ounce of power that I can possibly squeeze out of this saw and still go and take it and it be a work saw, right? This thing's still running on gasoline, you know, just whatever I got, you know, um, and, I tend to run 40 to 1 and I run non-ethanol fuel because I have it available to me and there you have it. I mean, it, but it runs just as good on pump gas and everything. However, if that piston does go bad, if it burns up, I would have to make another entirely new piston um, to, uh, to, to match the cylinder work that's been done to this. So there is a downside to doing piston modifications and I'm completely aware of that. But this video is about the air filters and what are my thoughts. My thoughts are if you've just got a work saw, even if it's ported, right? I mean, on a stock saw, it probably ain't gonna make any difference whatsoever because they're just not breathing as heavily as this. I've done a carburetor mod, it's ported and polished big muffler mod it's flowing a lot more than it did stock uh the last test that i did this saw gained i think 42 percent over stock in power now that i've fixed that timing it's probably more like 45 46 percent over stock um, and in stock trim they're already the fastest 60 cc saw that there is available so you know uh so it, really great gains on this saw really proud of it but yeah husky 5 series you got to pump that primer and you got to set it on high idle to restart pain in the ass but as long as you do it you got good restart <laughs> you 
got to do that high idle. Pain in the ass, but awesome saw.